Thanks, Kay. New details. People are wondering whether the man who died at Huntsville Hospital from a copperhead snake bite had other physical complications that made the bite unusually deadly. Way 31 Sarah Singletary talked to a local snake expert and outdoorsman about copperheads and how you can avoid being bitten. She's live now at Huntsville Hospital with what she's learned. Sarah? That's right, Dan. Earlier this afternoon, Huntsville Hospital did confirm an Oliver Baker died here at the hospital just yesterday. I did some research, and everything I've read today points to copperhead snake bites being painful but rarely fatal, which is why the people I talked to today are wondering what exactly happened. I've never heard of anybody dying from a copper from a copperhead bite. Charles Thorpe has thousands of hiking miles under his belt and has seen his share of snakes, which is why he was surprised to hear a man died at Huntsville Hospital from a copperhead bite. Try not to put your hands and feet in places you can't see. Uh, step over a log or something. I like to peek over the log to make sure there's nothing on the other side before I step down on it. A Facebook post from a man who says he's Baker's brother says Baker was bitten Friday night at the family lake house on Smith Lake. An ambulance service that operates out of Walker County did tell us they responded to a snake bite call over the weekend. His brother says Baker went unconscious within two minutes of being bitten and was eventually flown to Huntsville Hospital because there were no beds at UAB Hospital. The brother says Baker had renal failure and high liver levels. When I told ecologist Tanner Stainbrook what happened, he had a lot of questions. Did he have an allergic reaction? Um, you know, a hypersensitivity to the venom? Uh, did he have a you know, cardiovascular collapse, which led to multiple organ failure. Stainbrook said this isn't a normal circumstance and that copperhead snakes aren't generally aggressive. As a generally speaking, no, they're not going to come after you, they're not going to chase you, they're not out to get you. Stainbrook and Thorpe agree the unusually fatal bite won't keep them indoors, but Thorpe said he is thinking of the family. I feel sorry for the guy and his family. Stainbrook added that if you do see a snake, you should just leave it alone, and if for some reason you are bitten, you should get medical help as soon as possible. Reporting live in Huntsville, Sarah Singletary, Way 31 News. Thanks, Sarah. And according to Outdoor Alabama, of all the venomous snakes in the country, copperheads have the least toxic.